Well, hello. Today I'm at the abandoned Cleveland High School, and wow, this is a place I've wanted to check out for quite some time. This is a massive high school built in 1915, named after, of course, Grover Cleveland. And uh, yeah, in uh, 1986, this high school was uh, turned in or used for a naval academy, and it's been abandoned since 2006. So, yes, let's dive in. Okay, so already I've found the auditorium, and so far it looks like the lighting in here is actually really good. So that's that's awesome. I'm not sure how the lighting would be in here. Whew. Looks like it was also used as a gymnasium. Interesting. But uh, yes. Oh wow, the lighting in here is spectacular. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Whew. Awesome. <laughs> Man. Oh, man. Just let that sink in. Yeah, if you've watched... Other videos of mine, most of the times auditoriums are like theaters, they're like really dark. I mean, the best well lit auditorium was probably Horseman High School in Gary, but of course that one's like burned, unfortunately. Yeah, the lighting here is nice. I mean, other than natural decay, this, uh, you know, isn't in too bad condition, really. And you have these nice curtains still. Yeah, how about that though? Wow. It shows up great on camera. Amazing. Okay, well, yes, I do see another ugh, don't trip. <laughs> yeah, I do see another gymnasium though. It's interesting, the stage here was um as you saw the basketball hoops here, this was um well a stage, but I guess they use a stage as a basketball court, but and here's a yeah, another gymnasium here. Yeah, like a lot of gymnasiums, they have really impressive, you know, tagging art. My favorite was the wall at Lou Wallace High School in the small gym, but I kind of think that might have got uh, painted over, though, unfortunately. But I used to really love the wall and the small gym in Lou Wallace. I had like the monkey and like, I think it had like the R, which is like a, it had like the letter R on it too, which I think is like for like a video game company. But that wall is like my favorite. That's the thumbnail of my first Lou Wallace video, but again, I think that wall unfortunately got painted over by something, but at least I saw it when I did. Yeah, and this high school is quite large, not quite as large as Lou Wallace and Gary, but it's it's at least the same size, maybe slightly bigger than Horseman High School in, in uh, Gary. So I would say this is probably a, the second largest high school I've explored. Yes, as always, I'm superstitious to brush up on my history before I go out to explore. Again, usually when I do that, it doesn't work out. Oh, but there, well, hey, that helps. But yeah, as I said, this was like taken over by like a naval academy, or it's like, it's like one of those school programs that prepares you for the military, I think. Maybe that's what it was. But um, as you can see, and I wish there wasn't graffiti there. I'm not saying, well, not saying it's bad, but got painted over anyway. But um. I wish they would have left that alone, but yes, yeah, so as you can see, there was once uh, some type of a Navy logo. Get a bit closer to that, I suppose. Yeah, this is where I wish they didn't tag. I really wish they didn't tag here. But at least you can, at least you can see part of it. 
So, but yeah, that kind of helps confirm the history. This is kind of interesting. He has a, what's a book? Interesting. Is that a record? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you never know what you find in these places. Hmm. Yeah. The yellow painting here is interesting. It's probably going on going up the navel colors, I'm guessing. Probably after uh, this little room here, I'll probably look for the pool, and there's you know, lots of classrooms that are well lit, too. And you can see some paint cans, well, I think there, or uh, maybe that's something else. Cupboards, some nice wooden cupboards. Yeah, well, I think I'll look for the pool now, so I'll see you there. And yes, I'm in the pool room now. It's a, it's a small pool, but I mean, you know, wow, it's a <laughs> quite colorful. The graffiti, you know, the tagging and whatnot. So yeah, this is quite an amazing room. I've seen many pictures of this on Instagram. You know, for like the last year or so. So yeah, it's really cool. It's kind of surreal to finally be in here now. Yeah, and this building has lots of neat architecture. You know, I mean, well, you saw my opening shot of like a close-up of the front of the place. The exterior is really cool, but like they have like, I'll get close. I'll try to get closer. It looks on the outside later. But yeah, they have like these like neat little like statues like you know, on the outside of the building. Those are like little like people's faces you'll see and some other things. But yeah, this pool has like this really cool like you know lion statue like face here. That's <laughs> that's so neat. I've never seen that like the front of a pool before. And this pool's probably really old because you know this school you know built in 1915. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that little lion face is a really nice touch. Actually, they didn't put the pink crap on it, but yeah, that still looks pretty cool, though. Like, an interesting, this high school has such a small pool, but I mean, it still looks cool. You can imagine, you know, it would look really nice. So, yeah, wow. Very cool. Yeah, another nice little shot of the pool before I get out of this room. I'll probably Look at some classrooms now. Probably get another look at the auditorium before I head out too. So yeah, awesome school though. Awesome. Oh, guys, I good luck here. I uh, found some toilet paper. It's quite the scarce commodity nowadays. Ooh, spooky. Saw right there. Yep, quite the scarce commodity. But yes, stuff. First random class frame I happen to just feel like walking into. Yeah, I always like that glass. I don't know what kind of glass that's called, but yeah, it's interesting. Uh, yes. It's pretty cool. This is kind of interesting. Usually you don't see erasers left behind at schools, at least the schools that, you know, I've explored. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Kind of neat. 
Pretty cool. Oh. Interesting. So we got some like wood flooring here as you can see. Kind of cool. So really quick, you can see a fireplace. That's always interesting to see those in uh, old schools. But yeah, so this room here is really interesting. And I, yeah, this must have been like for cooking glasses. So yeah, there's like lots of ovens and stuff in here. Yeah, and oddly enough, I mean, well, it's possible I've you know, been inside, you know, classrooms and other abandoned high schools that were used for, you know, you know, cooking, culinary arts, you know, whatever, but um yeah, this one actually has some stuff left behind, so you know that's what this is used for, so it's pretty neat here. See of course some cupboards, you know, like where the sinks would be. I don't think I see any dishes, so I can't do my uh, Joe Bru my Joe Buck reference from Midnight Cowboy, but it's probably a good thing. <laughs> Man, God, like what a neat place! Yeah, high schools in general are up there. Some of my favorite explorers. You know, I like Lou Wallace a lot, and you know, like all the ones in Gary. You know, the couple I've done down here, including this one, they're always pretty fun. You know, up there with the Hawthorne Works and like the Dome Church of Scientology. You know, some of my favorite explorers goes in high schools. Okay, so not a whole lot in this room. I mean, this looks like some sort of um, office. It's the desk here, but this is kind of neat. You have like a little bolt-in board, and there's still, you know, some stuff pinned to it too. So, still, excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's a hot one today. Ooh. Yeah, when I did high school down here last summer, that was like a really hot day. But that's that's all right. But yeah, kind of cool. Kind of frozen in time, if you will. Yeah, I'm having yeah, I'm having a great time at this place. This is awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I found some more. You know, items pinned on another bulletin board in one of the classrooms. So again, that's kind of it's kind of cool, pretty cool. But yes, yeah, inside a type of classroom that's usually one of my favorites to check out. It's uh, as you can see, an old science room. I don't really see much for books left behind here, but that's good if they got transferred to the other school and the school moved to another building. Yeah, I did find um, yeah, a broken test tube. And yes, I was really excited to find this here. So yeah. So, it is the mission of Cleveland Junior Naval Academy to provide cadets the opportunities needed to develop academically, socially, and physically within a disciplined learning environment by uniting the efforts of the military instructors, the academic staff and community, resources to prepare students who will influence their community positively, serve their country dutifully, and compete in a global economy. How about that? That is quite neat. Oh, I have some more, some more interesting art, graffiti, what have you, to show. 
so stay tuned. So yeah, another quick look with science room. This is next door to the room I was just in, but yeah, it was really interesting graffiti, especially on the right. I haven't seen anything quite like that yet in my travels. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Got another fireplace, this one much bigger than the one in the near the cooking room. Cool. Yeah, look at the auditorium slash gym from above. Yeah, well, I don't think I'll spend too much more time inside as much fun as I'm having yeah I'll probably get maybe another shot even of that auditorium area look at the stands yeah it's been quite a spectacular explore though Speaking of which, um, up even higher now. This bird's eye view. Yeah, probably the last classroom I'll show, but yeah, this is really cool. The kind of classroom you'd see in a college. <laughs> All right, fellas, I'll about wrap it up. So I'll get some looks of the outside and I'll do it. So yeah, awesome, awesome place. So again, everyone, thank you again so much for watching. By the way, this is my 100th upload, by the way. So whoopee. <laughs> and yeah, as I mentioned, there's some cool architecture on the outside. I really like that lion face in the pool. So you have like all these like little kind of spooky faces down here. Then I really love those things. So that says chemist and glass blower, blacksmith, stone cutter, carpenter. That one, they're all abbreviated, I can't read that one, but then it's brick maker on the third to the right, and spinning, and printer, so those are some like professions, if you will. So, yeah. Cool location, again, thank you guys so much for watching.